Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God, Five Minutes in the Word of God, Five Minutes Designed to Taste and See that the Lord is Good. My name is Michael Moret, Proverbs 20, verse 30. God says, The blueness of a wound cleanseth away evil, so do stripes the inward parts. <clears throat> in other words, God is saying physical punishment has a way of removing moral evil. And this probably doesn't set well with many people today. But it is true that physical punishment removes moral evil. It is true, whether anybody agrees with it or not, because God said it. It is ridiculous how modern-day psychologists try so hard to understand wicked people, but they don't understand it. They don't understand them because there is no understanding evil. They try so hard to figure out why people do evil things. There is no understanding. It's, it's totally illogical. We shouldn't waste our time trying to... God never tells us to try to understand why people do bad things. Now, fine, if you're a lost sinner on the way to hell, you're a secular psychologist and, and, or an author, and you want to try to come up with some ideas on why people do evil, go ahead, have your way, have a good time, make some money, but it is unthinkable for a Christian or a Christian pastor or Christian authors to go down that road, trying to figure out why people do evil. Evil is God's business, and a Christian should know that. A pastor certainly should know that. A Christian author should know that. A Christian teacher should know that. That evil is God's business. He's the one that labels it evil. You don't have a right to relabel it dysfunction or behavior disorder. It is evil. It is sin. Number one, evil is God's business. He's the one who labels it. And he's the one who tells us how to deal with it. And he never tells us to try to understand it or try to figure out why it's there. Instead, God's way is simply to punish it and to punish it severely so that people in the future do not do it. Not only the person who has done it won't do it again, but people who hear about it, like God's word says, people who hear about the punishment for doing evil will be afraid. That's what God says. Let's make it painful to do any kind of evil, and then other people will learn not to do it. That's God's way. And God says right here, blows, blueness, that hurt, cleanses away evil. And anyone who doesn't believe that is foolish. They have a God complex. They think they're smarter than God. Physical pain helps eliminate, deters evil. Physical pain deters sin. Punishment deters that which is wrong. That's why Jesus talks so much about hell. That's why the apostles and every prophet in the Old Testament talks so much about God's judgment. Punishment deters evil. That's why you take your gas off the gas. I was going down the highway the other day, and all of a sudden there was a state patrol in the, uh, in the middle of the, the four lanes, you know, sitting there. And every car that I could see in front of me, you could see the brake lights go on. Don't tell me that punishment does not deter crime, you liberals. You're wrong again. Okay, we'll stop right there. Study all of God's word with me at the Bible, versebyverse.com. Choose, click, and listen from four complete series going through the whole Bible. If you'd like to be a part 
of Coffee Break and Scripture Verse by Verse, then pray for me and God's Word that makes you an immediate part of this ministry. Also, when you take a break from studying with me at thebibleversebyverse.com, go to the front page, click the donate button, and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. Until next time, Michael Moret for Scripture Verse by Verse and Coffee Break. So long.